clicking on uh, Minesweeper, I would be able to play it and so on. Okay, so let's even I could close it, whatever I could do. Okay, uh, as you see, when I uh, as soon as I close the the whole um, share the whole this the whole um, software share was just closed as well. Let's go to client two, and we're able to share our desktop as well. It got, it's the same for uh, request control and so on and you could um, take control over the person's desktop so I would give the allow control you could give allow control or you depending on yourself this time I just want to show you what's going on allow control uh, um, here I'm just choosing this just specific specifically right now so automatically it would accept any requests to this computer let's go back on client one okay here as you see this is Jane's desktop. I'm still not able because I have to go to control and request control. So I have control over her computer right now. Let's move the slider down here. Okay. One day it would load up. Actually, uh, it's not a problem here. The reason, um, since I have like three operating systems running on the computer right now. Uh, that's the reason it's a, a little bit slow but as you see here I've got access I have access to her computer here and here these are the icons on her desktop and these are the icons on my desktop and so on and I would be able to do anything I want to go explore her drives and so on okay so um, let's close this let's go back to client 2 and okay let's go to the share and simply you could just go to the share and sh and share it here okay and share and close and finally let's end the call end the call okay so uh, one last thing that is left is to you're able to host a meeting meaning that you would be able to create a meeting and allow everybody join this meeting and you would be the only person um, to allow um, calls or uh, allow incoming calls and allow people to use and share the programs and so on. What you have to do uh, is normally uh, this meeting uh, option is actually for uh, more than two people connecting to each other. Go to call, um, host a meeting, and here you give the meeting name, for instance, uh, impart labs meeting and you give it a password p a word uh, okay require security for this meeting when you click this require security for this meeting um, the person who wants to connect to you has to check a security button um, security box actually uh, I will show you where you have to do that the only um, the only um, feature that uh, is actually turned on when you um, use security um, your connection will be encrypted and it will be much more secure than a normal connection so let's just click this only you can accept incoming calls only you can place outgoing calls depending on yourself you could just simply choose these choose um, the programs or the tools that you would be sharing uh, within the meeting sharing whiteboard file transfer chat this depends on you as well and click OK okay so let's go back to um, client one and see if we could join the meeting okay client one and here okay so uh, one thing that I have to say is that when you uh, you want to join the meeting since we uh, click the secure um, checkbox when I type the IP address of the meeting the person that hosting the meeting here and I simply click place a call what would it what it would say is that the person you called only accepts secure net meeting calls so what we have to do is to click OK come to call place a new call here type the same IP address that we have here 194.225.33.20 and require security for this call data only and click this and click call and it would be actually connection okay the password password and click OK password again okay I think we're connected let's go back to client 2 okay here is the C incoming call from Dave and you want to accept it ignore it or whatever let's click accept 
and here as you see Dave and Jane are connected to each other any other person wants to connect simply has to give the password um, enter the IP address of the host um, it would actually be given um, permission or rejected permission to access this meeting okay so let's end this call as well let's go to client one um, well let's see what else we've got left Oh, okay. Uh, one thing that is left is that the, out, about the security. As you saw, as you saw, it, you know, only uh, it's not only in the uh, meeting that we could actually uh, make secure calls. Actually, when two persons, two users are connecting to each other, we could secure that connection as well. Simply, we go to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we go to t tools options here. And at the security tab here, we click it. I prefer to receive secure incoming calls, accept only secure calls when I'm not animating, and so on. Okay, so uh, outgoing calls, I prefer to make a secure outgoing calls. And you could check this as well. And if you got certificates, um, you just simply use the certificate below and just choose it, and so on. Okay, so the other tabs here are simple and straightforward the audio and video. We're not going to go through these. The general is the um, information that you just entered within the uh, wizard that we just uh, we were configuring. Okay, so let's click cancel here and um, actually I've created a table, um, the list of protocols that uh, NetMeeting is using and the specific ports that are related to these um, protocols um, so that NetMeeting could create the connections. Um, the two of the most important ports here are 1503 and 1720. Here is a C written here, 1503 and 1720. They are both TCP um, TCP ports. And um, the first one, 1503, is concerned with data conferencing, where you're sending anything um, that includes data, such as um, video conferencing, chat, sharing your desktop, sharing your applications, anything, anything that is um, concerned with data and packets data data not packets um, and 7020 is actually the call setup pro which uh, is the pro port that the H323 call setup protocol uses H323 actually is a packet is a protocol actually not a protocol a stack of protocols that um, enables uh, audio and video to flow over packet based networks such as TCP IP networks such as the internet and so on well, let's not go through this, but what I wanted to say is that if you're um, connecting to the internet through a router, uh, make sure that you have forwarded the uh, two ports 1503 and 1720, 1720 TCP ports um, to the local IP address of your computer. If you don't know how to do that, you're not familiar how to do this, simply just go to the address down below um, in parlabs.blackswell.com search for port forwarding and it would give you another step-by-step -step tutorial how to port forward your ports and finally you have to uh, enter the IP address of your router in NetMeeting as well so let's go to NetMeeting here it's open to, to the tools tab to the options and here here in the advanced calling uh, but in here there is a uh, option here use a gateway to call telephones and video conferencing systems simply click it and enter the IP address of your router here and click OK only if you're using a router if it's a modem don't even worry about this cancel cancel and finish I think there's nothing else much left to say uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video uh, if you're satisfied with this video just leave a comment so um, you could actually um, get more videos and you could just keep an eye on the vlog for more videos and so on okay thank you for watching